Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with an autumn card today. I will be using these two dies by the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. They come from the Stamptember release and uh, this cuts out a nice window with uh, three trunks and this is a nice uh, sentiment die. So to start I am going to cut out a rectangle. This is a stitched die by Simon Says Stamp. I used my Sizzix machine to cut it out and uh, this is a piece of cardstock by Simon Says Stamp that has a nice embossed uh, wood grain texture. I hope you can see the texture here. Since I am going for an autumn card, I decided to color this panel with uh, brown colors and uh, as I am applying my distress ink, I am going to blend three different colors and um, this is going to help the texture of the cardstock to pop even more. Now you will see on screen right now the three colors that I am using. As always, you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, along with links to online shops just below the video in the description area, as well as on my blog. I am going to apply the darker color of my Distress Ink only on the edges, so that I can frame my panel. Now that I am happy with the coloring, I'll go ahead and do the die cutting. So I'm placing uh, my die at the center of the panel. I am securing it with uh, post-it tape. And here is how it looks. I think it makes uh, a great window for creating a shaker card. So uh, just to make it uh, pop even more, I am going to add the darker color of the Distress Ink on uh, the tree trunks. Now I am going to need a backing for the window of my shaker card, so I am using this white piece of cardstock which I am coloring with two Distress Ink colors, you can see them on screen right now. By using these colors I maintain the autumn colored theme, but at the same time I am keeping the backing quite light so that you can see the tree trunks against the background. Also, I want to let you know that uh, this weekend I plan on filming a questions and answers video, so in case you have anything to ask me, make sure to pop your questions down below in the comments area. Notice how I kept one side of my panel quite dark, while the other one is more lighter. I am going to make sure that I have the light at the top of my uh, background. So I have already prepared my uh, main panel. You can see that I have um, some foam tape at the back and I have actually doubled up the foam tape so that I have uh, even more space for my sequence to move around. I am going to add uh, some of those uh, sequins, they come from uh, Lone Phone, from last year's uh, collection I believe, and uh, they have beautiful autumn colors. So I'm going to uh, pop in some of those in my window and then I'm going to stick the backing on top. And you can see that uh, the main shaker window is ready, all that's left to do is uh, the finishing touches now. And just because I'm obsessed with uh, little details, I went ahead and cut out those uh, tree trunks again out of uh, green cardstock this time. And uh, I am going to use only the tiny little leaves, which I am going to stick on top of uh, the already brown leaves on my card. So I am using a glue pen. These are not uh, too many, but I just had the idea and I wanted to do it. Sometimes I get obsessed with uh, tiny little details and uh, especially when I'm making only, only one card, I can take uh, my time and um, embellish it as much as I want to. Now that all my little leaves are in place, I am going to use an alcohol marker and I'm going to add just a touch of uh, brown at the very bottom of those leaves. So this is going to blend them nicely with the rest of the tree trunks. 
My card base is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. This is a top folding card and I have used dark uh, brown as my card base. So I'm going to stick the window at uh, the center of my card base. And now all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For the sentiment I have used the Autumn Blessings die from the latest September release. I have cut it out uh, with uh, my Sizzix machine out of white cardstock and I have used white just because it's going to give a great contrast against all those uh, colors at the background. So uh, this uh, has cut out perfectly but it's so uh, thin that you need to make sure that uh, as you separate it from the rest of the paper you've been very careful otherwise you will have to cut it out two or three times ask me how I know to stick those delicate boards down I am going to use my glue pen at the back And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more cards that I have created a while back. Thank you all for watching!